Hey, what's going on there everyone? Today we are going to be covering a superior skyblock and this is a fantastic free skyblock plugin. Uh, it was premium previously so it does actually have a lot of amazing features that are already built into it uh, but it is now free and I'm going to show you guys how to set it up and install it for your server so let's go ahead and get right into it. So we need to go ahead and install our plugin. I'm going to be using Soulnode for my servers. If you guys want to check them out, you can use the link down in the description to save 15% off your purchases using my code. So let's go ahead and install the plugin. And this isn't directly on the spigot, so some of you might not be familiar with how to install it, but we're going to head and search it up here in our plugins. And this is what we want. So we're going to click View, and this will take us to the spigot page. But we need to go ahead and get it from the external source. So here is what we need. So we need this latest stable version. We're going to head and keep that. And then going back, uh, we can go to our files here, file manager, go into your plugins, and then we're pretty much just going to drag and drop it in here and just let it upload and 100% Perfect. We are ready to rock and roll. So we can go back to our console. Go ahead and click start and this will start up. I'm using a 1.16.5. If you are using 1.17, make sure you do use uh, specifically Java 16, which you can find over here in the startup. And and last time I tried it, you do need to have one other additional plugin, but it does say in council which one you need to go download uh, from their specific GitHub. So just be aware uh, if you are running specifically on 1.17, but everything does look like it's loading up perfectly for my 1.16.5 server. So let's go ahead and join it and we'll test out everything in game. Today's video sponsor is the Sangata Marketplace, and if you are looking for any type of unique or custom plugin for your Minecraft server, there is quite a bit of selection over there, so make sure you guys go check them out using the link down in the description, and you can find some great plugins for your server. Jumping in game, and go ahead and do IS help, and that will show you your main help menu. This is your basic Skyblock plugin and it includes a ton of amazing features. So let's go ahead and actually go to our uh, IS create, and this will go ahead and we can go ahead and make an, our own island. So I'm just gonna call this test, all right? So then we'll bring up a nice little interface where you can actually click to see previews as well as you can just click to customize one. So let's go ahead and get with the normal island here, and now we'll go ahead and make it, and uh, there we go. Now our island has been loaded, it has a nice little border in here as well, which is perfect, a great little custom Customization of signs and then you also have your basic uh, items for your chest so what I love about this plugin is that you can do is panel all right so this will bring up basically your main menu and here you have a ton of features that you can actually utilize and make this pretty much like the only skyblock plugin that you'll actually need so you have your main settings you have permissions so you can have uh, specific permissions for different types of members so of course you got your guest co-op member moderator admin as well as leader we can change our specific biome so let's let's say we want to do like the jungle and uh, there we go. Now it has been changed to the jungle biome, which is pretty cool. So we're going to go back into the menu. We also have our specific IS bank. So this actually hooks in with the vault. So depending on what, what you have. So if I check my balance, uh, I basically have $49,000. If I go back to the panel, we could basically deposit half of our money. And now in our bank we have basically 25k in our bank so that's really cool because then you can check you know withdrawal or you can deposit money within your specific island bank uh next up we have our is top uh, this is the top items here which is pretty cool you can sort by various different types of options and then here you can see hey this is the island this is how many members they have I love that this is built into the plugin. It makes it so easy to see. So uh, it also calculates your spawners as well as your block values, which is pretty amazing, guys. Not gonna lie. So for example, let me go ahead and give myself like some beacon. So you can place some beacons here and some more gold blocks. And if we do IS top again, it should uh, basically update it. So if we go ahead and uh, left click, we can see, hey, now we have six beacon blocks as well as eight gold blocks. And that is my value. So really amazing stuff. And of course you can get specific uh, spawner plugin in order to calculate your specific spawners. And the wiki does show what plugins it is compatible with, which is pretty cool. 
So moving down the line, we have island missions. So you can actually have per player missions as well as pretty much your group island, which is really cool. So it's separate uh, depending on what you want. So obviously we already got that. This is where our eight diamonds came into play. But you can see all these different rewards and you can make as many as you want, which gives players more uh, a chance to like grind on the server. You got more players uh, on the active on the server, which is always great uh, for any type of thing. And then you also have add a member and then you can also have reach 10k so basically your island worth 10k so as i mentioned all this is completely customizable you can add as many mentions as you want which is pretty amazing uh, you also see how much uh, your island has so this is the worth of essentially so this is what we all have on this specific island really nice that it does calculate all that for you don't even have to worry about any of that and then of course you do have IS Fly, which you can give permissions to like donators or players for a specific amount of time or whatever you want to do with that. So all this does contain specific permissions, so make sure you do go check out on the wiki to list all the permission nodes because all of them are quite helpful. Along with the fly, you also have per island chat, which is pretty cool. So you can chat with your team if you don't want it to be publicly displayed, which is actually a really nice feature. I do actually enjoy that quite a bit. So that's kind of a brief overview of the player side. Now I want to show you some of the admin commands, specifically going to be adding new schematics for your island. So let's go ahead and get into that. So I found these uh, three various islands on a planet Minecraft. If you guys want to download it, that link will be down in the description. Just a nice little basic setup of some custom islands for Skyblock. So I want to choose this one. We got a nice little winter theme, even though it's in the middle of summer, but that's okay. Now we need to go into the administrative side so we can do IS admin and then type in schematic. So this will actually toggle on your specific um, editor mode. And then now we need to get a golden axe. So we'll do golden axe one. Alright, so now this is basically like world edit where you're selecting your two points. So make sure you do encompass your whole island. And we're going to go up one here and we can right click to set the first position. So once we have that set, we can come up here and make sure it does encompass everything that you have set for your skyblock island. We'll go up just a little bit more. We'll go up to and then we can left click to set the second position. So there we go. So now our second position is set. And now we need to go to the area that you want uh, the players to spawn in when they they start uh, the schematic. So I'm going to set this to about right here, right? So they can see the chest. So to do that, we can do is admin schematic. And then now we need the name. I'm going to just going to call this YT uh, winter. All right. So we'll go ahead and call it that. And there we go. Now our schematic has been saved in the files. After you have added your schematic in game, we need to go into the config to enable it. So to do that, we need to go to our superior sky block. We can go into our menus here, and then we're going to be going into the island creation.yml. And here, this is a little bit different than your classic uh, YML files. So this pattern corresponds to, you know, your basic uh, number slots that you would normally see. So this item right here, so this is normal, this is biome planes. So this would be in our second slot of the GUI. So as you see on the picture on the screen, that would be in the second slot under that second inventory bar. Uh, so that is how that everything represents it. So what represents the at symbol is this uh, first planes one. So this is essentially what is shown in the IS menu. If we scroll down here, here is another characteristic that we're going to be using. And so this is your mushroom fields. And then the dollar sign represents the uh, desert uh, schematic. So we're going to be adding our, our new pattern up here. And we're basically just moving everything over. And then our new one, I'm just going to put like an exclamation mark. I'm pretty sure this can be whatever you want it to be. But just for following the example of making a whole bunch of random uh, symbols. So that is uh, the exclamation mark is going to be our new uh, winter theme that we just made. So the best way to do that is just go ahead and copy and paste. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be copy and pasting this bottom one here. So we can go ahead and uh, space it out. Make sure you go all the way back. So all the alignment is the same and we'll go ahead and paste that in again. So now we can go ahead and do our exclamation mark. Uh, the schematic is going to be YT Winter. So this is what uh, we named it. So make sure the name is case sensitive. And then the biome Iowa uh, Taiga, I believe that's how you spell it. So yeah, yeah, that's right. So Taiga biome and then the player head. I'm just going to be leaving it the same just for now. I'm going to change this to white. I'm going to say winter. I'm just going to leave this gold texture because I don't want to look up one. Uh, but essentially we can go ahead and do the same thing. So this is going to be the winter island. and. 
and that looks pretty good. So that's about everything that we need to change. So make sure you save that file, and then now we can go in game, reload it, and try it out with our new panel. All right, back in game, we can do is admin uh, reload. Now we'll go ahead and reload all our configurations. Make sure you check your console to uh, make sure you don't have any errors. But let's go ahead and do is create, and we'll do yt testing. And uh, there we go. Here is our winter island. We didn't change this gold texture because I didn't want to <laughs> go looking up for one. But we can actually go ahead and uh, click that, and we should get teleported to our brand new schematic, which is perfect. So uh, we didn't add anything in the chest, so I did forget about that. So make sure you do add that you can also add a sign as well but uh, yeah so that's kind of how that works so make sure you put it your items in the chest before it gets generated but that's pretty much it anyways guys hope you have a wonderful day i will see you guys in the next video showcase peace out